Even after 11 years, I am still not sure if this ship is actually piloted or if it's just a glorified remote control airplane. It's the Raven. The Raven is the Terran's aerial spellcaster. Built from a starport with a tech lab, it has a focus on zone control and unit disruption, with the potential to shift the momentum of a battle very quickly. Apart from the abilities that I will discuss in a second, the Raven is also a detector unit, meaning you can see cloaked enemies nearby. So even if you happen to use none of the Raven's abilities, it still could provide some benefit just by existing. Now onto the three abilities. The first is Build Auto Turret. After selecting the ability, you must choose where you want the turret placed. Once deployed, the turret will attack any nearby enemy. It has 150 health, a range of 6, and deals 18 damage every 0.57 seconds. Yeah, you heard me. The turret will expire after 10 seconds. The second ability is Interference Matrix. Targeted on mechanical or psionic units only, this ability fires a missile at the target. Once that missile connects, the target is disabled for 11 seconds, meaning that they cannot attack or use abilities. They can, however, still move unless otherwise inhibited. This is best used against low numbers of high-value targets, such as siege tanks or colossi, for example. The final ability is Anti-Armor Missile. Although it is targeted on an individual unit, this missile will affect any unit near the target, friendly or enemy. Once the missile connects, it will turn all affected units orange because it was obviously full of nacho cheese Doritos. Affected units have three less armor for 21 seconds. In other words, they take more damage from attacks. It's a good thing. As a last note on Raven usage, there is an upgrade available from the Starport Tech Lab called Corvid Reactor, which costs 150, 150, takes 79 seconds to research, and increases the amount of energy that Ravens start with from 50 to 75. It's like a morning coffee, I suppose. There is also an upgrade available at the Engineering Bay, High Sec Auto Tracking, which costs 100, 100, takes 57 seconds, and increases the attack range of auto turrets from 6 to 7. As with most spellcasters, you have the choice of either trying to snipe off the units directly or to mitigate through the ability's effects. First, let's discuss some ideal anti-raven units for each faction. Terrans, you have a few options to deal with the Ravens directly. Marines are obviously cheap and can effectively overwhelm Ravens in the right situation. The tough part about that is getting past the enemy siege tanks to get the Raven. A better choice might be Vikings, which have an absurd range in their anti-air mode and can keep Ravens under control. As a final note, Ghosts can use their EMP ability to make the Ravens so incredibly tired that they cannot use their own abilities. Protoss, your anti-spellcaster go-to is usually the High Templar, thanks to its feedback ability. Couple that with how disgustingly strong Psystorm is against Terran, and you really have a near-perfect counter. I 
I guess other than High Templar, Archons are always a solid choice, and most of your Stargate units can deal with Ravens easily. Zergs, your answers to directly hunt Ravens are a bit similar to Terrans. Obviously, Hydras shoot up, and they look great doing it. But like Marines, they might struggle to get past some of the enemy forces to get to the Raven. If you don't want to try to overwhelm the enemy force, but you're still struggling to hunt down Ravens, investing in a Spire should be on the table. Corruptors are fast flying and quite durable. Use them to keep the Ravens away from your main army. Now for mitigating each ability. For auto turrets, you have two choices. You can run away, or you can destroy the turret. Well, actually, I guess you technically have a third choice. You could choose to just sit there and take the bullet fire, but running away is usually the best choice since the turrets deal such high damage, but only last for 10 seconds. Interference Matrix is a bit tough to prevent because it fires off so quickly. The recommendation for that is to just protect your valuable units. When the ability is cast, that is usually the time for you to back off, if possible. Your opponent is using the Matrix to try and make their engagement more favorable, so you must live to fight another day, or at least 11 seconds later, so that the Disable wears off. Anti-Armor Missile, similar to Interference Matrix, happens quickly. If you're quick, you can move the missile's target out of the group or split your army up to minimize the ability's effects. If not, however, you can choose to try and fight through the pain or retreat for the 21 seconds until your units can take a shower, thus removing the Dorito shrapnel or cheddar cheese powder. I guess it could be either one. Like most spellcasters, Ravens have the potential to turn the tide of a battle or decimate an economy in the right situation. Which ability is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.